guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here please leave a like leave a comment and subscribe so basically this is going to be a serious video as i want to talk about mental health there have been so many suicides recently and i feel like now is a good time to talk about it well any time really good time to talk about it because in your head it's like no one cares or everybody like just doesn't want to talk to me about my mental health because they think i'm annoying etc i felt like that and trust me whenever you are sad you need to talk to somebody because it's not good bottling up your feelings because if you bottle up your feelings you will actually explode on somebody and you'll lose a friend and i really don't want that to happen to you guys so i'm going to give you some tips to improve your mental health you should eat healthy or be healthy you should take walks along the park. I do that sometimes at night. So if you don't want to do it during the day, you can do it at night. It's up to you. So I think that's a really good way to actually improve your mental health. You should stop pro procrastinating because that will actually make it worse. So whenever you have time, you should always focus on your work. And it's okay to cancel plans if you're feeling really low and to take days off from college or school or work to do a self-care day and to make yourself feel better a self-care day for me is basically like face mask taking a bath taking a walk doing my journal and if you feel even worse after that or just feel completely the same write down your feelings and maybe burn it and maybe just keep it or to compare how you feel in the future to past I've done that a lot and I'm just like wow I've improved a lot. I got a counsellor in school because I was feeling really low and to be honest it actually worked for me but it depends on how you are as a person so if you want to talk to somebody you can phone Childline if in the UK I'm not sure about America or any other countries. You should talk to therapists or your family if you're feeling up to it and I will put a suicide hotline number in the description. You should always get out of your comfort zone because if you stay stick in the same comfort zone you will feel even worse and just overall miserable so get out of your comfort zone as soon as possible. Take risks, take adventures and stuff like that because it will honestly improve your mental health. I took risks. I remember when I was feeling really low before college and I didn't want to actually go to college but I took a risk and went to college and now I met so many amazing people in college and another thing don't show remorse when someone actually dies because if your friend has been feeling low when they were alive and they told you that they want to like kill themselves you didn't care then you literally pushed them away and just didn't want to deal with their problems and like people are just showing remorse when someone dies out. Like, you didn't care when they were alive, you know what? Just if your friend has been quiet for a few days, make sure you always check up on them because they are feeling low and they may need someone there for them, okay? Please check on your depressed friends because you never know what's going through their head. You never know if they want to kill themselves or they're harming themselves. So I want to search up some tips to improve your mental health so you don't have to search it up. And one of these is sleep more so I always get like eight hours of sleep and I think that's kind of good for me I remember when I used to sleep really late until like 1 p.m that really decreased my mental health it honestly made me even more miserable so make sure you get a good amount of sleep and make sure you go to bed at the right time get out of a toxic relationship because that will literally help you you'll feel so great after honestly it's just amazing how people get out of talk relationships and I feel you there, honestly. If you ever want to talk to talk to me about your problems or if you're stuck in a toxic relationship, please talk to me. My Instagram, my Twitter and my TikTok is down below in the description. I will help you and I'll give you I'll give you advice. Talk for toxic relationships suck and honestly I feel bad for people who are in them and you're blind by love. So I'm sorry guys, I just feel so bad for people in a really shit because they don't really realise it at the time but when you get out you will realise it. Another thing is make time for yourself and take time out from digital devices. 
and I think that's a really good way of improving your mental health because if you take time out from your digital devices you have to get things done last night my wi-fi was off like it disconnected because we have really bad weather here recently and I actually got some things done I cleaned up my desk cleaned up a bit of my makeup and this was like at nine at night and I came back on at 9 40 and I actually got a bit of stuff done so take time out of your digital devices and clean your room if it's if it's a mess because I know some depressed people don't really like cleaning up so take time out from your digital, digital devices and just clean up and clean your dishes and do everything you can to make yourself feel better because that is actually a good way of making yourself feel better and I've had really bad experiences I had a experience with mental health and I, I basically am diagnosed with anxiety and depression if you didn't know and I was really bad in high school I just didn't want to get up I felt awful and miserable it was just so bad and I didn't want to I refused to eat I refused to do anything I sat in my bed all day I do that now but I normally actually go out so I feel like that is something that I can actually work on and I basically change my feelings sometimes I get depressed I have these bad days and I have my good days my good days is working cleaning my room just doing all that kind of productive stuff and a bad day is just sitting down crying listening to sun music and honestly it's not good so more people should actually talk about mental health and I feel like if more people talk about mental health then more TV shows will actually you know talk about mental health or the news or stuff like that and I feel like 13 reasons why is a good new good series to actually watch if you I mean if you're struggling with mental health I wouldn't recommend 13 reasons why because it is a show that shows mental health and it's really bad but if you do have mental health and you want to watch it I suggest watching it because there are some people on there who actually give it good advice and at the start of every episode I think they give advice or they have like um, a website and if they want to talk to me I'm here and I feel like it's just important to talk about mental health and recently there's so much press talk about mental health but they're basically putting out lies and I feel like someone should actually stop printing out lies because there's so many people who are basically have high power so basically such as celebrities and they basically have to deal with so much cyberbullying and the press printing off lies and I feel so bad and I feel so sorry so I feel like something should be done there is a petition um, on Caroline Flack and I'll put it in the description because I'm going to sign it and I hope you guys improve your mental health if you're dealing with something just make sure that you just get help get the help you need and just make sure your friends are okay because I feel like the world right now is cruel and not many people are kind so be kind because not a lot of people are and I'm gonna go now so I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys later bye and make sure you comment down below comment a question down below and I'll answer it in another video okay bye guys <laughs> Tell me that you love